hi now we are going to see uh, how to join two tables with for all entries so we are going to write that in se38 so go ahead and give the transaction code se38 so give a ha give away a program starting with z so for all entries 12 is my program so click on create so give a short description like demo for for all entries and choose the type of the program as executable program and click on save so as i told you in my previous session it's going to be uh, you can just store it in your own package or go with the local objects that is a temporary package which is already available so this is the scripting screen so now i'm going to take two tables and uh, vbak and vbap in which i'm going to script some logics so now i'm going to create a structure using types i'm going to go ahead and begin off the structure name like ty underscore vbak which is going to be my base table so the fields of are uh, vbln type vbak hyphen vbl this should be the key field this is the key field and the second thing is second field is that er dat so it is vbak hyphen er dat so the third field is er name type vbak hyphen er nam so these three fields i'm going to take for my demo so i'm going to end my structure like ty underscore vbak so now this is the structure for one standard table and right now i'm going ahead and creating a structure for one more table which is vbap so ty underscore vbap so the same key field should be there in order to join two tables in order to join join two tables the two tables should have this common key field hyphen vbel so the second field is POSNR. since i know the field orders in the standard table i'm going ahead but you have to go to ac11 check what is the field and come back and set it out here matnr is the third field type vbap hyphen matnr so end my structure i'm going to end my structure end of ty underscore vbap so i have created two structures and uh, now i have one more structure called the final structure which which will start this way like sorry it's big enough ty underscore final which should have the combination of these two structures so i'm copying all the fields from vbak structure and i'm pasting it over here and since i have already used vbln i am not going to use it again so i am just planning and placing it over here and i am ending my structure yeah now i am going to create a work area and internal table for all the structure like this data work area underscore vbak type ty underscore vbak and it stands for internal table internal table underscore vbak type table of ty underscore vbak so in, i'm just going to copy this just paste it over here and just change the name of the work area and the structure So now go ahead and give a final uh, work area and internal table for the structure we created for final. Okay, fine. So now here also just modify that by giving final. Final. So this has to be ended by period. So control save. Now go to select options. So you are going to have one table as a base table and which I am going to have it as VBAK. So I will name my field like e, VBLN for 
VBAK hyphen VBEL. So since I have given here as the select options, I have to mention here in the tables command. So I'll go ahead and give VBAK as my base table. So go down, and here is where you're going to write your first select query, which will retrieve the data from the VBAK table and it's going to put the data into the corresponding internal table of VBAK like this. Select VBLN ERDAT ERNA from VBAK put it in the table into table IT underscore VBAK where condition VBL in S underscore VBL. So this is my first select query. Now I'm going to put an if condition if IT underscore VBAK is not initial. It means it has got some values in it. I'm going ahead and fetching fields from the next table like VBAP. So VBL Pivo SNR and MATNR from VBAP put it into the table IT underscore VBAP for all entries in IT underscore VBAK where VBL equal to IT underscore VBAK hyphen VBL because at the end of this particular select statement all the data from VBAK table are passed into VBAK including the VBLN so my VBLN is now inside the VBAK the internal table of VBAK so I'm mentioning this way so my second select query is also over so now I'm going to bring these two contents together with a loop statement so loop at it underscore vbak into wa underscore vbak i am just going to bring into the work area and i cannot have a loop within a loop so i am going with the read table command it underscore vbap into wa underscore vbap with key vbeln equal to wa underscore vbak hyphen vb e l n so this is the command so now i'm just passing every value final hyphen vbl is equal to vbak hyphen vbl dot final hyphen e r b a t is equal to w a hyphen vbak hyphen e r d a t so my third one is like its final hyphen e r n a m is equal to w a v b a k hyphen e r n a m so now my second field like final hyphen p o s n r is equal to w a hyphen v b a p hyphen p o s n r so now finally the final field final hyphen matnr equal to wa hyphen vbap hyphen matnr so now i'm going to append this particular contents work area final to the internal table of final and i'm going to clear the work area So now it's a usual procedure we cannot display from the internal table so I'm just bringing back into the work area so right now every data is inside final so why your first field is VBL comma wa hyphen underscore final underscore erdat 
W A underscore final hyphen E R N A N. So W A hyphen final hyphen P O S N R W A final M A T N R. So this is the program. So now it should work. Let us see. Yeah, it is syntactically right. So I am activating it. So it's my execution. So this is the already available fields, and let us go and click on edit. We got the reply. We got the output as the combination of two fields. Like this is your VBLN. So this is your ER DAT. This is your NAM. This is your POSNR, and this is your MATNR. So this is the result of the two standard tables with the use of for all entries. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you.